the WikiLeaks moment, and I think you're right, it's not after WikiLeaks, I think it was after that particular explosive moment, when you got this vast amount of, of secret material, although not that secret in terms of the number of people who had access to it, um, but secret to the rest of us. Well, you got that moment when you, you got all of this stuff shoved out into, into the media via WikiLeaks. Um, where does it leave us in terms of the media landscape? I think there are two ways of misunderstanding that. One would be to underestimate what's happened. There's no doubt about the fact that what WikiLeaks did in releasing that material has had profound consequences. I think those consequences are often missed because they haven't really taken place in Ireland, in the UK, in the United States. They've taken place much more in the developing world. Um, and, and sometimes the reporting even of the effect, I think, of, has, has been very narrow. So one certainly shouldn't underestimate it. But I think also there is a tendency to overestimate it. You know, there's a tendency to say, look, something astonishing happened, which has changed the media landscape. Well, no, it hasn't actually. Because there are a couple of very interesting things about the WikiLeaks moment, if we call it that. Um, one is that, in many ways, it's a very old-fashioned piece of, a very old-fashioned journalistic event. If you, if you look at what basically happened, it's something that has been happening for centuries in the world of journalism. 